Good day all, Anish from Blackpool Markets here. Today we'll be discussing the tug of war that is of late, the euro against the pound. Now, as we can see, over the last few months, the euro and the pound both respectively have been appreciating against the US dollar and other key safe haven assets. Now, this key consolidation area in the chart behind me, daily time frame, shows this battle between the 90 cent mark, as we've seen over the course of the last few months. We're currently in this very tight consolidation area, about 100 pips to the upside and 100 pips to the downside. And this has been in place since June. And of course, throughout this time, we've had a weakening dollar index. Now, what I want to bring your attention to is this move with the euro against the dollar and also the euro and the pound against the dollar. So, of course, as we've seen during that period of consolidation with the euro against the, GB, uh, against the pound, that tug of war has, on the other side, seen an appreciating euro off the back of a depreciating dollar index. Now, we're currently stuck in this area here, and I'll show you why this is significant on the higher time frame. But what investors are really looking for is a stronger euro in the near term as the dollar really looks to continue to weaken as the Federal Reserve, of course, toy with negative rates. Now, the whole story of QE has been uh, well in play with the Eurozone ever since 2014 and now they've kind of launched an unlimited QE which puts potentially the Euro at a higher rate against the US dollar. So we could see some undervaluation here in the Euro. If we look at a higher time frame, this is a weekly chart and why this level is so important is that we are stuck in a key resistance zone at the moment, which is this high from August 2018. Currently around the same areas here, 118.13 mark. Now, of course, we've got a lot of key economic information coming out today, as well as the Jackson Hole meeting this week that could give us a bit of a bit more indication as to where central bankers are heading with policy uh, for the near term. However, what we can see is a clear break of this level, what we we did get a wick above it last week, but if we do clear that wick and get above 119, look to test 120, that then opens up this entire zone heading up all the way to 124, which was a previous area um, where the euro pretty much held in before March 2018. So we're really looking for the bulls to start to attack this area to the upside all the way up to 123 if we do get a cross of 120. Now this is all considering the dollar uh, pattern continues to the downside and the euro continues to the upside. As you can see, the euro has really looked to strengthen over the last few months and that trend does not look to be slowing down. There's nothing fundamentally to show us that that will slow down, especially with an uncertain uh, US election this year, policy around the US dollar, in comparison to investors viewing the euro, the second world reserve currency, as a stronger asset to behold. Similarly, the pound, which is a bit more, uh, which is struggling slightly more to, to break higher, uh, if we bring up the pound on a weekly time frame, you can see a similar appreciation zone. However, we are now getting stuck into several more layers of resistance to hit to the upside to make new legs higher. As you can see, 135 is a clear level psychological resistance, but in over the last three or four weeks, we've been really capped here at the 132s, 133 levels, which do prove as strong areas of resistance going back all the way to July 2018. However, if we do get a nice push above that area, a close above 135 near term, then we could be looking at areas above that again considering this weakening dynamic. So do keep your eyes on both assets. Both assets are in a strong tug of war correlation consolidation with each other at the moment. So there's no real play on the euro pound. However, what you could be looking for are opportunities for either one to break continue to break higher to the upside. So that's the view of this. Of course trading is a risk and the alternate could easily happen. However, the probabilities here do point to the upside. So do keep your eyes on both trades. Again, hope you enjoyed this video and let us know if you have any questions. All the best.